Good Wednesday morning, friends, or afternoon, evening, whenever you might be happening to join together with me. This is our midweek time to pause together and wonder together about how God is working in our midst. For those who I don't know, I'm Reverend Jennifer Finley, our Momentum and Discipleship Pastor at First UMC in Kirksville. And uh, as I ask that question this week, where are you seeing God at work? Where is God meeting you? I know I ask it um, this week, in this week that sometimes feels like an in-between time. In between Christmas and New Year's, uh, I saw a meme once that talked about how it's that week where we don't really know what day of the week it is. And I know many of us have, have been living with that sense of time and COVID times for quite a while now. But this does feel like an in-between time. And that's gotten me to thinking a little bit about the idea of what lingers with us and what is yet to come. And in the way my brain works, that got me to thinking a little bit about candlelight. A few years ago now, it's been, it's been a few years ago, probably three or four years ago, um, I stopped into this space. This is our gathering space here at church. And I stopped into this space on an early, early Christmas morning. I was getting ready to leave town um, to go see family and no one was around. It was very quiet. I just had had to stop in to pick up something that I had forgotten before I hit the road to go see family. And of course, we had had a candlelight Christmas Eve service that night before, like we have had this year. Um, and as I walked into this space, all was quiet. There were no candles lit, of course, they'd all been extinguished from late the night before. But I could still smell that lingering smell of candle wax. And it was a beautiful smell. It, it, it's spoke to me of community and love and the light of Christ that we talk about at Christmas. And uh, couldn't see anything with my eyes, of course, it just looked like an ordinary space. But that lingering smell, that lingering smell reminded me of Christ's presence. And I thought about that as we think about these in-between days, between candlelight of Christmas Eve, whether you lit candles in this space or another space or at home and worshiped online. I thought about that, those, that light that is lingering, but also, also as we are heading into New Year at the end of this week, as we are heading into yet again uncertain times, and uh, I wonder, what, what is about to come? What light is about to come into our lives? Um, what is about to be born? And as I've been thinking about that, a couple of poems came to mind that I thought I would share with you in these in-between days. These are poems by Lucy Shaw, um, poems of the incarnation called Accompanied by Angels. It was gifted to me by friends and I have loved this season learning more about Lucy and reading through these poems. And the first one I thought I'd share is Shine in the Dark. From a dark dust of stars kindled one, a prick of light, burn, small candle star, burn in the black night. In the still hushed heart, shadowed as a black night, shine, savior newly born, shine till the heart's light. I love that. Brings to mind those images of our candles held high, pinpoints of light, whether it was in this space or at home. From a dark dust of stars kindled one, a prick of light, giving us all kinds of hope. And then this next poem, right next to it, as if it knew, as if our poet knew that there's this in-between time. This one's called Star Song. Glimmers from stars have flickered all year long, and now at its close, when the planets are shining through frost, radiance runs like music in the bones, and the heart keeps rising at the sound of any song, or with the silver calling of a bell, rounding high and clear, flying, falling, sounding the death knell of an old year telling the new appearing of Christ, our morning star. 
Now burst all our bell throats, toll every clapper tongue, stun the still night. Jesus himself gleams through our high heart notes. It is no fable. It is he whose light glistens in every song sung and in the true returning again to the stable of all of us. Shepherds, sages, his women and men and friends, common and faithful, wealthy and wise, with carillon hearts and suddenly stars in our eyes. I love that. I love that because it pulls this image of candlelight that we have at Christmas, the light of Christ. It pulls us through this week into what we are encountering as we head towards New Year's Eve and New Year's Day and all of the complicated ways that might be for us this year. And so my prayer, my hope in this Wednesday of this in-between time is that God is meeting you in stars, in candlelight, in hope, in joy, even in the worry and the fear that may accompany thinking about a new winter, a new year. And so my hope is that as we look at these candles behind me, that we hold on to the lingering goodness of the light of Christ, and that we pull that with us into this week, these days, and all that is to come. For Christ is indeed already with us. Christ's light is with us. And so whatever this week holds, I invite you to light a candle or two or three or five um, as you can, knowing that Christ is indeed with us. Amen. Go in peace, my friends.